In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the new unbeweavable bracelet using the Monster Tail Loom. And I will show you what it looks like. It has this woven pattern, like a basket weave look to it. So this one I just did all different shades of blue. And it's going to be a little bit different than the unbeweavable bracelet that I did on the Rainbow Loom. And I'll show you what that one looks like. Because in this one I was able to do four rows of vertical bands, but with the Monster Tail I'm only able to fit three. So you can see the three white bands that run down the length of the bracelet. But it's basically the same concept. So you're going to need about 175 bands in total. So that's about 25 bands of each of the colors. So I'm going to start with black and it's going to go on the bottom pin on the left and stretch over to the right and you don't have to twist anything and a second black is going in the middle stretching across and then one more at the top and now I'm going to take another black band that's going to stretch from the bottom all the way to the top it's a long stretch and now I want the bands on the right to move over to the left. I'm going to do that for all three pins. And now I want the bottom band to come over the top. Again, do that for all of them. That's going to make a slip knot. And now what I want to do is pull these slip knots nice and tight. So I'll start on the end here, take this off, and just wiggle it back and forth while I'm pulling upward to make it tight. I'm going to put it back on this pin. Now for the middle one, I'm going to tighten this. And this time I want it to go opposite, so I'm going on the right. And then finally at the top here, I'm going to tighten this up. And this is going to stay on the left and push this down. And now I want to add black bands to the very ends here. So I'm going to just take my hook and go down through this black band that's on the pin and push it out. Now I'm taking this other black band, getting it on my hook, it's going to come up through and the end in my fingers is going on the hook. So I have two rubber bands on there the bottom one goes through the top to make a slip knot and you're going to pull that nice and tight and that loop is just going to stay there for now taking another black band and I'm going to do the same thing on the top here get my hook through this black band get this other band to come up through and back on and now the bottom goes through the top and pull that tight to make a slip knot And so now I'm ready to start adding my colors. And I'll start with pink here. It's going from the bottom pin all the way to the top. And I'm actually going to do two of those. So I'm taking a second pink. And now every time I put two bands on, I need to change the position of these black bands. So the one on the left will come over to the right and the one in the middle goes over to the left and then finally at the top it goes to the right. Push that down and now I'm going to do a second layer of pink. I'm going to do two sets of each of the colors so again it's going from the bottom up to the top and I'm doing a second pink band And now once again, the black bands need to change sides. So I'll just move all three of these. And push down. And now that I've done two sets of bands, I have four rubber bands on each of these end pins. And what I want to happen is I want the black bands to come up through. So I need to take my hook and reach down inside. I'm going to push back on all of these pink bands 
and I'm going to grab this black loop with my hook and now I will pull it up through and I'm going to leave this on my hook and I'm going to hold it in my hands and then I'm going to use the ends of my fingers here to just pull this off and then the loop needs to go back on. When you let it go it is tight so it does want to go to this side and that's okay. Now the same thing on the other side here. I'm getting my hook to go through all four of these pink bands and I'm going to grab this black loop and pull it up through. Now I'm going to get this loop on my hook, hold it there, and then carefully slide this off. And now put the black band back on. And push that down. So it's a little bit tricky to do, but I think once you do it a few times you'll get the hang of it. And so now I'm on to my next color, which is orange. So I'm doing two orange bands. And now the black needs to change over. And push down. And now I'll do another layer of orange. Again, I'm always doing two. And then the black needs to change positions. And now once again, I want this bottom black band to come up through the orange. So I'm taking my hook and getting all of these orange bands to go behind hooking this black circle it's going to come up and you don't have to pull it all the way up through because this is really tight and I don't want anyone snapping their bands as long as you just have the end of it on your hook leave that on your hook and hold on to it just make sure you don't let that go and now you can take your thumb and just pull these up and off make sure that this still stays on your hook and then you can put it back on that pin I found that this is the easiest way to do it. And on this side, you're just going down through all of these orange bands, getting them behind your hook. And now you can grab this black loop, pull it up through. But as I said, you don't have to pull it all the way up through. Just get it towards the back of your hook, hold on to it. And now you can use your other fingers to just slide this off. Make sure this black stays on your hook and now you can put it back on the pin. Push that down. And now I'm on to my next color, so I'm going to do two yellow here. And now the black needs to change sides. And you can feel that these black bands or whatever color you have here that go back and forth will start to get tight and eventually we're going to have to extend those so I'm going to do another layer of yellow and now change the black And now on the ends, we need this black to come up through the yellow. So I'm going to get those behind my hook, grab the black, just pull it up far enough that it comes above the yellow. Keep that on my hook, release these. Again, make sure this black stays on and put it back on. And the same thing over here. I need this black to come up through all of the yellow. Whoops. And now keep it on that hook and I can pull the rest of these off and then this black can go back on here. Push this down. And now I feel like my black bands are starting to get a little bit tight so I'm going to put the extension bands on. So what I'm going to do is take 
three more black bands and string them from the left to the right on all three of these pins. And it's important to note where the bottom bands are, so you want to keep them on the same side that they're on now. So at the bottom here, it's on the left, so I want to keep the bands on the left. So this bottom band is going to come over the top, and then the right side will move over to the left to keep that band on that side. And then the bottom band will come over the top to make the slip knot. And then you're just going to pull this so it's nice and tight. You want that not to be small so it isn't easily seen within the bracelet. And I'm actually just going to put this back on and leave the loop hang for now. And on this middle one, I need it to stay on the right side, so I'm taking the bottom band over the top. And now it's moving from the left to the right. The bottom band moves over, and then just make it nice and tight to make a small slip knot. Again, I'm just going to put this lower loop back on the pin. And finally, at the top here, I need it to stay on the left, so I'm taking the bottom band over, and this is moving over to the left. Take the bottom over the top, and make that nice tight slip knot, putting this back on. And I'm not going to add any more to the ends just yet. I'll wait till I do another layer or so. So now I'm going to switch to green. And the black bands have to change sides. And so I'm just going to use my fingers right now. I think when the loops are so long it's a little bit easier to just use your fingers. And you might have a little bit of a hard time for the loops to stay on the pin since they are so loose. And what helps with that is if you push down on the bracelet. That helps them to stay on the pins a little bit better. And now I'm going to do my next layer. Another layer of green. And now another important thing is, since these are so loose, you need to make sure that they're staying tight within the bracelet. So as I'm changing positions, I want to pull up within the bracelet to make it tight and then change sides. So you're going to have to do this at first just for the first couple of layers so it stays tight because otherwise it'll look very uneven within the bracelet. You'll have some parts where it looks looser and then other parts where it's tighter. Again this wants to slip off here. So now I'm going to take the bottom black band and come up through the green on the two ends here. Again, just pull it up a little bit. And also you want to use your other hand to sort of hold these bands on as well since they're so loose on here. I'm going to just use my thumb and pull this off, but don't lose this black band. Get it back on. And then the same thing over here. I'm going to keep my thumb over top of all of these middle bands so they don't pop off. And I'll get the green bands to go behind my hook. Pick up the black. Leave that on my hook and then slide the rest of these off. And then the black goes back on the pin. Push this down. And now I feel like the black bands on the ends are getting pretty tight, so I want to add an extension. So in order to do that, I'll just do the same thing like I did in the beginning. You're going to take your hook and go down through this black band. I'm going to take another black band, get it on my hook, pull it up through, and then put the other end back on. So you'll see two rubber bands there on your hook and you're looping the bottom one through the top to make the slip knot and then just pull that nice and tight I'll do the same thing here at the top 
taking this black band, pulling it up through, and putting my hook back through it, and then one end through the other, and pull that tight. You can push this down here. And so now I'm switching to blue. And now the black bands change sides. Again, as you're doing this, just pull up to make it tight here within the bracelet and then go over. I can't stress that enough. You have to keep it tight. And now I'll add another layer of blue. And switch sides here. Again, I'm pulling up and over. And now the black bands come up through the blue, so I'm getting these blue bands to go behind my hook. And I'm just going to grab this new black loop that we added and pull it up through and leave that on my hook and release these and put this back on. Same thing on this side. Go down through the blue, grab this black loop and pull it up through, leave it on, pull all of these off and hook it back on. So you can see here the bracelet is starting to grow. And I'm just going to continue on in the same pattern. I'll do two layers of purple, always switching these black bands in between each layer. And then when I feel like they're getting pretty tight, it's time to add extensions. And you'll just repeat what I have already shown you. So you'll just have to decide, depending on the type of bands you have, some are more stretchy than others. So I really can't say exactly when you'll need to change, but Whenever you feel it getting tight, you'll need to add extensions for these three bands and then also the same for the ends. So I will fast forward here. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like it and you're ready to take it off of the loom, you should have just one rubber band left on five of the pins. And the thing with this bracelet is you might have longer bands as you're ready to take them off, or you might have shorter bands. It just depends on when you added your last extensions. So mine are probably about in the middle right now. So I might have to tighten some of them up. But what I'm going to do is take the rubber band on the bottom and move it up to the right and then I'm going to take the one on the top and move that down and to the right and then I'm going to take the bottom rubber band on each of these and pull it over the top and now I'm going to take the rubber band here that's on the top on the right and move it into the middle and I'll take the one that's on the bottom and move that into the middle. And now I'm going to go down through these top two rubber bands, get them behind my hook. I'm going to grab this bottom one and pull it up through. And now I can take this off of the loom. And you can see if you think your bands are a little bit loose, you can just start to grab some of these black bands and pull them through just to tighten this up. Just going to take some from each side here, take this one until it looks nice and tight on the end. And then I'm going to take a clip, I have a C clip here, just going to put the rubber band through. And on the other side here, I'm going to reach through the black here in the middle. And I'll just hook that through. 
through as well. And then here is your bracelet. And you may have to do a little bit of adjusting on it. For example, if the bands are overlapping one another, you can just straighten them out. Or if they look a little bit twisted, you can just pull one over the other to make it look nicer and neater. And if your bracelet is a little bit buckled in any area, you can just slide these bands down or up um, to make them tighter till it lays nice and flat. And then here's the other bracelet that I showed you at the beginning with the different shades of blue and the white in the middle. So there are a lot of different color choices you can make. I hope that everyone enjoyed this tutorial. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!